I think it is now evident that Ezra Miller needs help. Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts. I'm not going to lie to you guys. When I first read the article this morning that came out that a Hawaii couple is filing a temporary restraining order against Ezra Miller, I thought it was in response to what occurred on Sunday when Ezra was arrested at a bar. I'm thinking, okay, so a couple is putting a restraining order against him, is filing for one. No, this is after Ezra was released from prison and bailed out by the couple that was letting Ezra stay with them. And Ezra does all this stuff the next day after the arrest. Are you kidding me? What in the hell is going on? And I said it in the beginning. Ezra seriously needs help. Think back a number of years ago. Widely publicized, but of course, Warner Brothers, shh, don't talk about it. Ezra was filmed outside of a bar, I believe it was outside of a bar a number of years ago, grabbing a, a woman by the throat and taking her to the ground. There's footage of it. Nothing was done. There was huge response on social media. Nothing was done in regards that we know against Ezra Miller. Nothing happened. It was all, shh, quiet, and I'll talk about it. But then Sunday occurred, being arrested at a bar, taking a microphone out of a, out of a woman's hand, lunging at some guy playing darts, and other stuff yelling and going crazy. It sounds like alcohol, like an alcohol issue. But then what occurred the day after is so bizarre. What the hell is going on here? So from the Independent, I pulled up this article in particular. Two Hawaii residents have filed for a temporary restraining order against Just League star Ezra Miller, claiming that the actor harassed and threatened them. Okay, and finding out that this is the couple that bailed you know, bailed him out of jail. Sorry, I, I mis, um, used his uh, pronouns there. I apologize. Um, I'm, you know, <laughs> not even thinking. I apologize. I'm trying to catch myself on that. But uh, apologies there. But regardless, they bailed Ezra out of jail. And then this occurs the next day at their home. The complaint claims that Miller burst into the bedroom of the petitioners and threatened the alleged male victim by saying, I will bury you in your slut wife i will bury you and your slut wife on monday the next day the next day according to court records obtained by associated press miller is accused of stealing some of the alleged victim's personal belongings including a wallet and a passport credit cards social security cards what in the fuck are you doing ezra now people are saying that ezra is probably having a mental thing going on it's maybe something more than just alcohol because with the incident years ago where Ezra grabs that woman by the throat and takes her to the ground and that was of course on camera that maybe it's an maybe it's literally alcohol it, it, it's a problem with Ezra's you know ability to handle alcohol I don't think so at this point because it's now gone past the point of the second issue at a bar where Ezra was actually arrested and now Ezra is threatening I'm going to bury you and your slut wife in stealing passports, wallets, credit cards, social security cards and as far as right now as, as I'm recording this video those belongings have not returned to the people yet what in the hell is going on here? The respondent is famous and wealthy. The document states this makes access to weapons much easier as well as sending associates to harass the petitioner. The actor had allegedly been staying at the couple's hostel in Hawaii. Apparently they, they met Ezra randomly somewhere in Hawaii and then they offered Ezra to stay with them and they're the ones that bailed Ezra out of jail. Now the question is this. In regards to this little movie, let me scroll down a little bit. This little movie right here, The Flash. People are pointing out that we need to talk about Kevin as just still playing that character, it seems. But in regards to The Flash right here, what's going to happen? Because it's too late now for Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore. What's that? Grindelwald. The Secrets of Dumbledore. That movie is coming out next month. It's, all, it's basically this month, but it's still technically March right now. Still, I think, another day or so left on that. But anyways, 
apparently they've been cutting Ezra out of the marketing and they had like a world premiere. As far as I know, I don't think Ezra was there. I mean, if Ezra was there, didn't see any footage. And the Flash was pushed out till next year. I don't know if I don't know what this means in regards to if they're gonna if they're gonna replace Ezra. I don't know if you can at this point with the Flash movie. But I'm wondering, could they replace could they replace Ezra? Could they do it? Could they realistically shoot with a new actor and playing Barry Allen in this movie? Because how are you going to market the Flash movie? With Ezra going out for interviews and billboards and all this stuff, how are you going to market a movie where everyone's going to be asking the same thing to Ezra? So what happened in Hawaii? Why did you threaten that couple? I'm sorry. Like there's no, there is no way that it could be accomplished without it being a disaster. And I'm telling you right now, people may disagree. I I think the flash movie is, is not going to be successful. After what has now been occurring. If Ezra does not get help. It's going to get worse. It's simple as that. If there is no help. That is given to Ezra. Whether it's by. PR people that are. That are working with Ezra. Like why is Ezra by himself. In Hawaii. I said himself. Apologies again for the mispronunciations. Uh, Mispronouns. You get my point. It's, It's been a long day. But. Either they have to give Ezra help or Warner Brothers needs to step in and do something. But at this point, the, the, the Flash film is, it's not looking good right now. It definitely, and, it, and I don't think it's going to improve anytime soon. The Secrets of Dumbledore, at least Ezra's not a main, main character. Ezra, uh, from what we're hearing, has a significant role. It doesn't mean screen time wise, it just means that they have a significant role in terms of how important they are to the plot. But that, that, it's too late for that movie, but the Flash has been pushed out to next year. Could they realistically recast if they have to? Should they? I'm thinking they might. They might need to at this point because with the the arrest on Sunday, I'm thinking, okay, so maybe they could get help for Ezra. But then, then the next day, bursting into uh, this couple's room, threatening to kill them. I'm going to bury you and your slut wife. Taking personal stuff, credit cards, social security cards. What in the actual fuck? I'm sorry. This is getting too much. This is getting too much. I am shocked. I'm hoping Ezra gets the help that clearly is needed. Clearly. But I don't think this is going to change anything. I think regardless if Ezra goes and checks you know, into some sort of rehab or whatever. I don't think it's going to really change the perception that has now been laid out. They push out the flash into what June or something of next year or something. It's so far pushed out. Realistically, they could do something. I I, look, it's a, it's, it's literally put between a rock and a hard place. This whole situation. Like, what is the right decision here? You have plenty of time to realistically reshoot a new actor, but how much more money is that going to cost? But I think as of right now, because there's no, there's not any information that's come out since this article came out this morning about the restraining order being filed. I don't know where the studio Warner Brothers goes from here. And who wants to work with Ezra at this point? Like, the, the being drunk in a bar is one thing. We've heard a lot of actors being drunk in bars and stuff and being belligerent, but... Going into a couple's room and threatening to bury them, kill them, like, what? I don't know. Ezra's going down a dark path, and I hope that Ezra gets the help. That is that is clearly needed, because this is not good. Whatever's going on, hopefully hopefully, Ezra can turn it around. Or, or, or start to fix themselves. So with that all being said... What do you guys think about this whole situation? Do you think that they should recast Barry Allen for the Flash movie? They had a lot. They have a lot of time to do it. Do you think they should? Do you think Ezra can turn it around? Do you think Ezra needs to clearly get help, and that that may change the outlook in terms of you know Ezra's career? 
and the next big film that, as far as we know, that Ezra's doing after Fantastic Beasts, Secret of uh, Dumbledore, The Flash. Whatever thoughts you have, I let, please let me know in the comments below. I, I really would like to hear your, your guys' thoughts because this is this is a lot, and I cannot believe this is actually real. It's insane. But anyways, hope everybody's doing well, and be safe out there, everybody. Please be safe. I will talk to you guys soon. Peace out.